Hi, I'm Laura Hudson from the Orangetown Recreation Department. And my husband Bob and I run some hiking programs for both children and adults throughout the year. In June every year we run a children's program where we go for a hike and then afterwards we do a short quick kind of project with some natural things from our hike. Since we can't bring you out in the trail today we thought everybody has their own backyard so we would teach you a project that you can do hiking around your own backyard. So the first thing you need to do is put on some comfortable clothes, get some fresh air and come along with me. You need to collect some sticks. So sticks is what we need to do our project with for the day. So here we go. You need some sticks that are skinny that you can actually break into pieces and collect as many sticks as you can. So here we go. Here's one. Beautiful. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can like, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. Have fun collecting your sticks, and we'll show you what to do with them next. So I walked around my yard, and I collected lots of sticks. I hope you had fun walking around your yard, too. So here's the next step of our project, which is actually really a game. You're going to take all these sticks, and you're going to break them into little pieces. So pieces should be about an inch to two inches long and you're going to make two piles of them which we already did here if they're hard to break don't worry about it go to the next stick some hard sticks are harder to break than others but as i said you should have sticks about you know an inch to two inches in long and you want to make it into two different piles for our game you might want to grab another person to play your game with you. And it's a drawing game where you get to challenge each other to draw something with the sticks. It's something that you can easily do outside on a nice day and then inside on a rainy day. So let's play. So if you have some leftover sticks, you can actually make a game board by making two giant rectangles and a stick in the middle of it. Um, so that you each have a place to play. We have a person, I grab my husband Bob, I'm sure many of you recognize him from lots of the uh, uh, Orangetown programs too. And we're going to play our game. What you do is you have to think of something for the other person to draw. And the two of you can draw that item. So I'm going to challenge him to think of a smiley face because we all want to be smiling during these stressful times. So here we go, we're both going to draw our smiley faces. So you take your sticks and you try to figure out how do you draw a smiley face. You can give mine some eyes and nose, maybe, and a smile. And there we go. We both have some smiley faces. We did it. All right. Wipe our plate and we can play again. Make a sun. All right, sun is our mission. Try to make a sun. I'm gonna take my sticks. Ooh, this is a hard one. Try to make a circle. All right. Now you can play this game outside as we are on a nice bright sunny day, but tomorrow I know it's gonna rain, so you can actually take this idea inside too. So, woohoo, look at our suns. Got it. Way to go. So that's the idea of this game. You can each challenge yourself to making as many different objects as you can. If you want to take this game inside and you want to save it for another day, you can actually write down your game ideas on cards. And then what you would do with the cards is, you know, put them down and instead of thinking of items for each one, you have to draw what's on there. Flower. You can go and use this project in other ways, too. If you love your drawing that you made, you can actually take some Elmer's glue, and you can actually glue your picture onto a piece of paper. So here we have the same idea with the sticks, but we added some markers, and there's that sun, and you can have a picture to hold on to. You just need to make sure that you uh, keep this paper down so it glues. You might actually also want to collect some other things on your hike. And uh, you can have, you know, pine cones and rocks and some of the pine needles. And you could add these to your drawing too as well. And, you know, 
really add some other things to your uh, picture that you want to keep. So that's our idea for today. Go out, have some fun, get some fresh air, go collect some sticks. You can have your stick drawing game that you can play with a friend, or you can use it to make some other projects. We hope that you all stay calm and smiling during these stressful times, and be creative. Think of some things to do outside and inside. Be well, Orange Town.